if five years down the line, this whole carnivore thing is gonna start to fall apart? Are we gonna see lots of why I'm no longer carnivore videos coming out? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe. So today's video is just gonna be a little bit of a sit down chit chat. I saw a comment the other day, I can't even remember if it was on my channel or on someone else's. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about it, share my thoughts, and hopefully get some feedback from you and hear what you think of it. So the comment said that people doing the carnivore diet are just experiencing a placebo effect. Basically, they said that a lot of these vegan influencers, when they first went vegan, they were raving about it, saying how amazing they felt, this and that. And then when they switched to a carnivore diet or even just added animal products back in, they basically said the same thing. <laughs> so no, I do not think it is all just a placebo effect. And I know I'm biased in this. Obviously, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know where I stand, but just hear me out for a second. Just think for a second what the mainstream's view on the vegan diet is. When someone sees a vegan option on a menu, they automatically assume it's healthy. So I think it's pretty fair to assume that someone who is starting a vegan diet has pretty high expectations. They are expecting to feel better. They are expecting this to be the optimal diet. Yeah, they really don't expect anything negative to happen. So I think people who are starting the vegan diet do experience a little bit of placebo. Now, I don't wanna say it's 100% placebo because obviously someone who's switching from a standard American diet that is high in processed food, lots of refined sugar, things like that, and then switches to a more plant-based diet and is eating more whole foods. Yeah, obviously that is a step in the right direction. You are gonna feel better cutting a lot of that junk out, but I do think that a little bit of that might be placebo. Now, let's imagine the carnivore diet. So what do you think the mainstream's idea of the carnivore diet is? I know when I first heard Sean Baker on Joe Rogan's podcast, I thought it was absolutely insane. I can remember telling people, there's this guy who eats only meat and yeah, absolutely thinking it was just crazy. So a lot of people I think are like me, they see this diet and they really cannot believe that it works. I know I've watched a lot of videos of people saying that they were extremely skeptical, but they just wanted to give it a try. Maybe they were desperate. They'd been experiencing lots of other health issues, which didn't seem to be healing no matter what they tried. And basically carnivore was just a last resort. And because I think a lot of people go into carnivore with this mindset, just really skeptical, not expecting anything good to happen. Yeah, that's why I think that the results are not placebo. But all that being said, I don't know if five years down the line, this whole carnivore thing is gonna start to fall apart. Are we gonna see lots of why I'm no longer carnivore videos coming out? I mean, it's possible, but I think it's highly unlikely. And here's why. The carnivore diet is not based around an ideology. Basically, people are just trying to improve their health. For the most part, people aren't dogmatic about it. They don't really care too much if someone's eating plants. Maybe some people do. I get those you're not carnivore comments sometimes. But anyways, that aside, I think when we look at the vegan diet, people who are trapped in that framework yeah it's it really is an ideology you can't just start eating animal products again to just try it out see if it works no that's an absolute absolute last resort for these people and that's why i think it becomes so difficult 
for people who are struggling on a vegan diet, they don't really see the reintroduction of animal foods as an option. So they push it and push it and keep struggling, keep struggling until they absolutely cannot take it anymore. For someone who's eating a carnivore diet, that isn't really an issue. If you really aren't feeling good, yeah, you can play around with adding in some avocado or I don't know, maybe even some more carbs, things like that. You can try different things out, but yeah, that isn't really an option for people on the vegan diet. And that's why I don't think the carnivore diet is a fad diet. I don't think that people are going to be jumping off the bandwagon in a few years moving on to something else, I really, really feel like not even a carnivore diet, but just an animal-based diet, a diet that is high in healthy fats, healthy animal fats, good protein, all the amino acids, true vitamin A, true omega-3s. Yeah, I just think it's optimal. If you watched my last video, that was a what I eat in a day video, where I said pretty much I wanted to try to go back to eating as close to 100% carnivore as possible. The last few months I've kind of just been more lenient with adding plants in and stuff and honestly just not feeling as good as I was feeling a few months prior. It's not even like I eat a lot of plants or anything but even just cutting out that avocado cutting out the small amounts of like broccoli and other things I was eating I've noticed just such a difference. It's it's really insane and just within a couple of days. But anyways guys, that was just a quick video for you today. Yeah, I really want to know your thoughts. Do you think that the carnivore diet is just a fad diet? Are people only experiencing benefits because of a placebo effect or do you think there's something more to it? Let me know in the comments down below. And just before I wrap this up, I wanted to announce my monthly Patreon giveaway winner. So the winner of my April giveaway is Becca Yay! L. Congratulations, Becca. I'm going to send you a message on Patreon right now. So yeah, watch out for that. And if you guys want to be entered in next month's giveaway, all you have to do is support me on Patreon. On top of being entered in monthly giveaways, I also do monthly Q&As. You get early access to all my YouTube videos. I upload them all at least a few days in advance. Pretty much as soon as I finish editing something, I put it live there before I make it live to the public on YouTube. There's also some other perks, so you can check those out as well. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.